you're a journalist, it's not easy to look at a different um, religion, different culture uh, as an outsider. It is incumbent upon us to uh, try to ask some questions and diversify the views of points that we hear about Islam specifically, Muslims uh, specifically. When the talk is about Muslims, there is always this one angle, one narrative uh, that seems to dominate and it is um, it can, get, it can get annoying or sometimes hurtful. I noticed when I, during my time in Iraq that many of the journalists who came to Iraq for the first time uh, had no idea about the society or the people there. And I know it's a difficult task often, and sometimes you may not necessarily find your in ways, say, into a community. It may be a close-knit community. It may, it may have its own biases against you as a journalist and for your looks, for you who you are, or what they think who you are, and it may be difficult. I think it's important for young journalists to think about Muslims as a diverse group and not just assume all Muslims are the same, not ascribe stereotypes to Muslims, just like we are careful with all other groups of people um, in not making assumptions when we report on them, we should have the same mindset when we discuss Muslim stories and narratives as well. Students can talk to Muslims, um, you know, there are Muslims in, in the community, or even take, you know, some classes about Islam and other faiths that are offered here at Elon. Any country or any culture in the world is just a click away from you. So you can do your uh, uh, own research, uh, spend some time. Uh, also, you can talk to uh, people here in the United States. And getting the information from people who actually represent the faith tradition rather than, you know, people who are reflecting or analyzing or looking from the political angle or looking uh, from the um, the homeland security angle. So try to get past this and see that other side of the religion as often as you can. The media kind of lump sums all Muslims into this one narrative or one person or one practice. And um, uh, it, it just makes it sound as if one person can be the representative of Christianity or Judaism or any uh, faith tradition, which is totally untrue. Even the same person, as much as I try, for example, to, to follow the Islamic tradition, I have bad days and I have bad moments. I was at an Arab market one time, and there was a, a non-Muslim uh, woman there doing a book report, I think. She was interviewing different people. And then she asked me, she said, how do you make your grape leaves? And I said, well, I'm from Mississippi, so Muslim food is fried chicken and cornbread. And my wife's from Indonesia. You know, that's the most populous Muslim country. Muslim food is fried rice for her. Muslim societies are found in different parts of the world. There are Muslims in Africa. There are Muslims in India. There are Muslims in the Middle East. So, you know, that kind of uh, understanding of this whole variety of people who happen to be Muslims I think there cannot be only, you know, one single narrative. Uh, I would say, you know, collect from multiple sources, uh, and, and that way we can have a, a much more balanced understanding. Muslims come from all over. Not all Muslims are Arabs and not all Arabs are Muslims, so definitely just educate yourself. There is a diverse community and there are a lot of different invitations out there. And um, whatever you hear and see in the media, we usually end up giving voices to the terrorists. They commit a big monstrous act and they get to speak to the world and they get to set their agenda and they become the spokespersons. And then we don't hear from the people who are actually their victims. Most of the victims of terrorist attacks are Muslims. So we're not giving a voice to the victims. We're just glorifying the perpetrators and we're just giving them a voice. Uh, I really hate using the term Islamic terrorism. I feel like you're you're, you're giving authority and validation towards that when it has nothing to do with Islam. And you look at K the KKK. No one seems to refer that as Christian terrorism. Islam says in the Quran, if you kill one person, it's almost like you've killed all of humanity. So we can say terrorists who claim to be Muslims or something. So this kind of insensitivity can be very hurtful sometimes, especially when, when one is bombarded by it all the time from multiple sources. We don't really hear much about the other side of Islam, uh, that, that it is not about violence, it is not about uh, those people chanting jihad or they are chanting Allahu Akbar. Uh, 
that's what makes the news often. And religious festivals, celebrations, how people come together, uh, doesn't make the news a whole lot. So try your best, do your research, and learn about the culture. Gather a bunch of different perspectives. Of course, it's not easy, as I said before, as an outsider, not knowing the religion, not knowing the culture, context. It's not easy. Just try to be an insider as much as you can, because it would give you a different perspective. Do your best until you capture, uh, until you capture the, uh, the essence of the story. But listen, listen carefully before, before you finish your stories. Thank you.